Hey everybody, happy Wednesday. Mark Ozzy here from Black Cat Comics in Rockin' Milpitas. Every Wednesday is New Comic Day and I'd like to give you some great reasons to go to black-cat-comics.com and pick up something fun to read. Uh, it's not a huge week, but lots of books that are fun to read. Let's start with the Marvel guys this week. Let's talk some X of Swords. X of Swords, part six is your latest issue of Hellions. Part seven is your latest issue of New Mutants. Part 8 is your latest issue of Cable, one of my favorite X people. i uh, been talking up all these X books, been talking up, uh, well, from the very beginning with this whole sort of renaissance of X titles. Great time to be an X fan, great time to jump into all this X of sword stuff. Crosses through all the different X titles, so if you're not following any of them, it's a great little sampler package to see what goes on with the creative teams and characters from each book. If you are following particular X books, you might as well jump on the bandwagon and sign up for all the other titles too so that you don't miss any of the 22 parts. Seems like there's about three parts per week. And to round it out is your X of Swords handbook. This is your uh, sort of in the vein of the official handbook of the Marvel Universe kind of thing. You can uh, look up all your favorite X characters and X of Swords uh, places and peoples and things and uh, read up on all the cool stats and info. Folks like me have always loved these official handbook sort of things to study up on their favorite characters, so don't miss that one. And then lots of your favorite core titles. This one is, of course, my all-time favorite core title. This is your latest issue of The Avengers. This is the uh, last part of the current story arc. I hope you've been keeping up because they've been selling out like crazy, all this Fist of Khonshu stuff. If you love Moon Knight like I do, then you're going to want to be following Avengers. If you don't know much about Moon Knight, you're going to want to jump in on some Avengers. Like I say, this is the last issue of the arc, so if you've been missing out, just go ahead and jump in and see how it all wraps up and get ready for the beginning of the next arc next time. Captain America number 24. Yes, this is a great week for me. I love when I get Avengers and Cap in the same week. I love when I get two Alex Ross covers for my Captain America title. This, of course, is cover A. The Falcon is his timeless cover for the week. Going to want to go to the website, check out all those cool Alex Ross timeless covers and grab them before they're gone. Everybody needs to be reading Captain America right now. If you're not following this book, you're really missing out on something awesome. Like X-Books, like most things Marvel right now, it's a great time to be a Captain America fan. Captain Marvel rounds out your other Avengers-esque books for the week. Love me some Captain Marvel. Amazing Spider-Man, number 50. Your second anniversary issue in a row. Last week was number 850, because that was the legacy number. This week is number 50, the 50th issue of the current run. Not quite as chunky as last week's issue, but still some big double-sized anniversary fun. Great time to be a Spidey fan. A lot going on in this book. A little bit of a... Uh, you know, classic uh, Spider-Man action, but a little uh, new modern edge to it. Great time to be a Spidey fan. Speaking of modern edge, let's get ready for Halloween, shall we? With some Immortal Hulk. One of my favorite, favorite books running right now. Like I've been saying about a lot of Marvel titles, it's a great time to be following this one. If you haven't read a single issue of Immortal Hulk, go back to the first trade paperback to get the gist. Uh, or just jump into this brand new issue. This is your latest one. You can read more about this one in our newsletter. It's uh, really dark, really heavy, like Hulk books should be. Like I say, it gets you ready for some Halloween. And speaking of Halloweenery, how about some Marvel Zombies Resurrection? Everybody loving the Marvel Zombies. Also a great book to dive into in October. Fun stuff there. And last but definitely not least is Darth Vader. Been talking about all the great stuff that Marvel's been doing with their Star Wars line. Been saying from the beginning that Darth Vader is some of the best that there is. This is uh, the third run of Darth Vader that they've done. Different points in the timeline, so you can feel free to jump right into this one. Everybody loves a cool Emperor story, right? Great week for the Marvel guys. Great week for DC, too. Like I said at the top, not a huge week, but some of the top, top titles, like Dark Knight Death Metal number 4. Ooh, look at all the shiny. Look at all the foily. Super fun stuff there. Probably the biggest book in comics. Doesn't need a whole lot of promo from me, but uh, just thought I'd throw it out there. There's a few different covers to choose from. like to show cover A in the video, but you're probably waiting on that Art Germ cover with the uh, cool John Stewart Green Lantern. But anyway... Here's your latest issue of Dark Knight Death Metal. Then, of course, it's always Batman Week. This is the latest issue of Detective. 
first issue after the big anniversary one. I hope everybody jumped in on that 1027. Like I say about those specials and annuals and things, it's a great time to jump into a title that you might not already be reading and a good way to keep up with it. So this is 1028 and Batman and the Outsiders along with Batman's Grave rounds out your bat books for the week. This is uh, one by Warren Ellis, one of my all-time, all-time favorites. And most folks are already checking out Batman's Grave. If you are not, for some reason, pick up that first issue, and I guarantee it'll suck you in and make you want to catch up to the latest one. Superman, number 26, one of my favorite, favorite DC titles. Bendis has just been doing a stellar, stellar A-list job with all the super books, action, Superman, Great time to be a Superman fan. He'll be wrapping it up pretty soon, so grab these latest issues, jump in and see what I've been talking about all this time. It's been a lot, a lot of fun. Wonder Woman 764, another one of the best books in comics. Another book everybody should be reading. Go back to 761 for the beginning of the new creative team. Like I say, everybody should have Wonder Woman on their list. Flash is a book that doesn't need a whole lot of help from me. That's... Uh, DC's big TV and movie star, but Green Lantern, one of the best, best books out there. I know I say that a lot, but this is the complete package. Uh, Grant Morrison, Liam Sharp, great stories, great art. Like I always say, that's what makes great comics. Uh, if you love sci-fi stuff, if you love superhero stuff, if you just love good comics, pick up Green Lantern Season 2 because it's one of, the, one of the very best books out there. That Liam Sharp is amazing. Hawkman, number 28. Hawkman might be a book that's flying under your radar, but everybody that reads it really, really digs it. It sells really well for us. So if you got a little room in your budget, a little room in your time, pick up some Hawkman and see what the buzz is all about. Speaking of buzz, you know we love us some Tom King around here. we got a Tom King double feature today, Strange Adventures. Love me some Adam Strange. Love the uh, cool psychological twists that Tom King does with all his stuff. This one's probably in your box. If it's not, it should be. Uh, pick up uh, the first few issues and catch up because really, really one of the cooler uh, reading experiences you're going to find. Much like Mr. Miracle from last year, everybody, everybody's digging Strange Adventures, so jump in on that. And Tom King Round 2 is Rorschach. Speaking of, I mean, cool, creepy, psychological things, this seems like a pretty great title for Tom King to uh, take over. Everybody's loving Rorschach. Really, really cool to see uh, the Watchmen verse finally, finally incorporated into the DCU proper. Cool uh, analysis, modern analysis of these characters. A lot of fun. And last but not least is DC the Doomed and the Damned. Much like last week's uh, Legends of the Swamp thing, this is your cool Halloween special from DC. Talk up these specials all the time. I love their Valentine's one, the Christmas one. Now we get a Halloween one. I love Halloween comics. And uh, you just can't do any better than this big old giant-sized tome. You can read more about that one in our newsletter. Top, top list of creators in that book. So don't miss out. And a great week for all the other guys, too. Keeping in that Halloween theme, Bill and Ted are doomed. Love me some Bill and Ted. Excited about the movie. If you've been following uh, the New York Comic Con stuff, there's been some announcements about this that were a lot of fun. That's your Dark Horse book of the week. Commanders in Crisis. It's your image book of the week. Always talking up those first, first issue image books. Encouraging guys to grab these before they're gone, before they go to fifth printings or are too expensive to catch up with. Image does all kinds of cool genre fusion things that you're not going to find from anywhere else out there, so don't miss out on those first issues. A lot of first issues to talk about from the indies this week, actually. How about Dynamite is my Dynamite book of the week. been talking up Dynamite for a long time because I love what they do with uh, Vampirella, Red Sonja, Deja Thoris, all that good stuff. And Dynamite is your creepy, crawly Halloween version where they uh, team up all your favorite Dynamite characters and uh, there's going to be some zombies and good stuff in there. So, again, just in time for Halloween, a cool first issue to check out some of those characters that I'm always talking about. And then your standard issue, this is your uh, Vampirella number 14. That's your uh, Halloween uh, Dynamite book of the week. Usagi Ojimbo is my IDW book of the week. Always talking up Usagi and Stan Sakai. One of the all-time, all-time talents in comics. And this is really one of the best comics there is. Total, total unique experience. Not much you're going to find out there quite like Usagi Ojimbo. If you've never read an Usagi, grab the latest issue and you'll see what I'm talking about. Really, really fun, creative stuff. Once in Future. 
It's your Boom Studios book of the week. This book is on fire. I gotta say, of all the independent publishers out there, uh, this book sells like crazy and is probably like one of the hottest non-Marvel, non-DC books there is. So you're not reading once in the future. You're clearly missing out on something that everybody else is really into and really digging. So grab that latest issue and see what uh, what all the buzz is about. And then I mentioned some uh, some cool first issues from all the other guys. We Live, number one, is your Aftershock book of the week. A great uh, opportunity to pick up a new title from a publisher you might not be following, get a bit of the gist, a bit of the flavor of what that publisher does. This is a good week for that kind of thing. Uh, this is your Aftershock Jump In Book of the Week. Vane, number one, is your Oni Press Book of the Week. If you don't know much about Oni, this is a good first issue. Jump in on a new series and uh, get the gist of what those guys do. And Life is Strange is the first issue from Titan Comics. Every week in these videos, I like to go through all the other guys. I know we're all uh, Marvel, DC, Image people, but there's tons and tons of other publishers out there with top talent who do great books. And so much like I say about uh, annuals and specials, first issues are, of course, a great opportunity to uh, try something out, a new creative team, a new publisher, new characters, find yourself a new favorite. And this is a really great week for that. Unfortunately, not much in the All Ages uh, to talk about, so you can go to the All Ages section and uh, peruse some of the things from previous weeks if you've got the younger reader in your life. That's all we got for you for this week. You can check us out at black-cat-comics.com. Click on shop, click on new this week, and take a look at all the books that we've talked about. Click on last week and uh, pick up anything that you might have missed. And don't forget to tune in Saturday for Comic Shop Talk Live, uh, 2 o'clock, Facebook and YouTube, as we talk about all the books that we've read this week. That's all we got for you. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.